Hi, um, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Deep Bharacharji, head of product at ZeroStack, and with me is Sutapa, director of product management at ZeroStack. Uh, today, we're going to talk about you know, some things that we've done in the past year and what's new and upcoming. But before that, a brief announcement. If you go down to booth D3, we're actually giving out some fabulous, exciting prizes, you know, some instant rewards. Go talk to our sales guys and you know, hear more about our story and get some gifts. OK. So as you can see, we got an, recently got announced the Gartner Cool vendor. So at ZeroStack, we essentially do cloud slightly differently from everybody else in this shop floor. Essentially, you, know, you have the notion of public cloud where it's easy to use, less operational headaches, and you kind of pay as you grow, but you have less control, it's inconsistent, you know, compliance and security issues, all of that stuff. In private cloud, it's very complex. Often you need an army of professional services to kind of deploy your private cloud. What ZeroStack does is kind of somewhere in between. Essentially, we give you the public cloud experience with the control and compliance of a private cloud. So how do we do it? Essentially, if you look at, if you break down a cloud, it's got four pieces. You've got user workflows, operations, management apps, and data. In the case of public cloud, it lives in the public cloud vendor's premises. In the case of private cloud, it lives in your premises, right? What ZeroStack does is we've broken it up into two pieces. The management, the applications, and data, the things that you really care about as a customer, that stays on your premises. And the user workflows, the operations, those are things that we can constantly innovate. Those are delivered via SaaS portal. So you get the control visibility, the data location, you know, no noisy neighbors, you get great performance, you get all of that. Then you also get the feature agility, the real-time insights, dashboards, all of that stuff together. So breaking it down even further, you know, what are the pieces that you get? Right. So on your premise, we ship with our own hardware. So these are, we call them Z-blocks. These are hyper-converged servers. Oh, and the architecture is very different from everybody else. It's essentially uh, controller-less, symmetric, scale-out architecture. The, you know, and it is self-healing. It's HA by default. So you do not have to configure HA separately. And it comes with, obviously, software-defined storage. You've got multiple pool types, depending on the type of workload you want to set up. It's got SDN. And on the SaaS side, you have the, you know, the multi-site management. It's, it's designed to be multi-site from the ground up. Got capacity planning, monitoring, analytics, and approval, self-service workflows. You got the app store. You got all of that. And looking a little bit more into the Z block, you know, as I said, it comes in multiple flavors: standard, compute-heavy, storage-heavy, varied flavor depending on your needs. And it is 100% pure open stack. You know, the API that you get. So, you know, why would some, something like Zero Stack be useful to you? Well, the focus is on apps and not on infrastructure. You know, the idea is to get your infrastructure done quickly so that you can start building your apps because that's where you make the money. Uh, it's a self-healing open stack, HA by default, so you save a lot of ton of time, money, and kind of, you know, the, in your regular operational costs. Uh, the upgrades are seamless. Uh, you do not need dedicated open stack experts to kind of set up, build, operate your cloud. And the controllerless architecture means you need less hardware. Okay. But that was 1.0. Those are the things that we essentially shipped last year, and our customers are enjoying that. But you know, we are also adding new stuff, and we'd like to give a sneak preview of what we're doing. So first thing, we're adding support for Liberty. Right? So OpenStack Liberty support. This thing is not very good. So what are the feature highlights? So first of all, you know, ZeroStack is going, going hybrid and adding support for app portability. And we'll talk more about that. We now have a very rich app store. You know, we've added support for placement policies, intelligent placement policies, adding support for basic data protection and object store. So let's look at each of them, and then we'll do some demos. Right. So essentially, you know, <coughs> ZeroStack now offers an app porter. What it does is you know, it lets you migrate workloads back and forth from VMware. Migrate workloads from AWS, view workloads in AWS, right? You view an existing workloads, you deploy workloads, you migrate workloads from ZeroStack to other private clouds, uh, other public clouds. So the Z App Store, as you can see, you know, this is a screenshot of an actual app store. You know, the goal here is to make it possible for customers to deploy applications very easily, very quickly. 
And these are not the only list. You've got you know, all kinds of applications. Uh, we provide application templates, image templates. Customers can upload their own templates. Uh, you know, they can selectively download a few from our public app store. Uh, we, we kind of support all types of application templates, whether you want to build a multi-node Cassandra cluster, a multi-node Elk stack, or, or a MongoDB, or just as simple as WordPress, or kind of create our own dev box. We kind of provide all of those. Right. Um, we've also added support for placement of policy. Let's say you, know, you have a pretty large enterprise and you have some departments that have certain special needs or they uh, you know, are chiming in with a, chipping in with a lot of money and need gold and silver type of workloads, whereas others are running test dev. You can create policies where certain VMs land on a certain type, uh, you know, get a specialized type of uh, resources, SSD hardware uh, uh, storage, let's say. And so we've made it very simple. You create policies, you, you allo allocate them to business units, you connect them to projects, VMs, and then you sit back and you know, let the policy take effect. So essentially, whenever somebody creates a VM in a given project or in a business unit, these land in the right place. Right? So you can, this lets you, you know, do all kinds of things. When you, when you have all the, Z, the, the zero stack hardware, you can dedicate hardware to certain groups by creating policies that place workloads on those, those groups. You can do affinity, anti-affinity rules, things like that. You can do all of that. Uh, we also realized that, you know, customers would want to protect their data outside of the zero stack system. So we provide, you know, data protection by allowing customers to connect, the, mount external storage via NFS, and then we can back up and restore from, you know, external storage that is mounted by NFS. Right. And you can restore from there as well. So now let's go through a little bit of a demo. You know? So this is live. Bear with us. Goes wrong. Right. So what Sudaba is showing out here is a, you know, a workspace, a project dashboard. And we're going ahead and creating a new, new project. And as you can see, you can set quotas. You have templates. You can also specify whether a project is going to be short-lived, long-lived, all that stuff. But here, just, she's just created a project. And let's go inside that project. And you know, right now, there aren't any apps. But she's got an app, and she just wants to deploy a dev box. Now, what is a dev box? It's a, it's a very simple system. I'm a developer. I want to create an environment. With, which is loaded with my features. You know, I, I'm a Python developer. I want to deploy, deploy my stuff on Ubuntu. I pick a setting. I choose you know, the, a, a few things here and there. Uh, I, I am, let, let her go through them, actually. Go ahead, go down and let's, let's. And let's say I'm a Python developer. I'm selecting the Python runtime. I want to select Django. And I, I, I have some work to do with a Python LDAP package. So I'm going to list that. And I said deploy. So voila, I kind of get a dev box very quickly. And I can move on, right? So this is, I was telling you it's live. Whenever it's live, it doesn't work. Looks like we've hit a bug. Anyway. Let's, um, let's go to the next, next one. That's OK. Uh, you can do WordPress? All right. The demo gods are not with us today, partially at least. So here you can deploy a WordPress template. And when you kind of run it, at the end of it, you get a complete WordPress server installed. So this is getting deployed. Let's try and do add some cloud providers now. Right. So we go to business unit. I can add an external cloud provider. So let's you know try to add AWS provider.
So it shows we're successfully connected. So we've created the, the provider. Right now, we don't have any VMs there from AWS. So let's go down and select, U, I think US West 1 would work. Uh, so we have these VMs that are running in US West in Amazon. And we can select, and we can decide to migrate. So it essentially migrates the workload. First of all, it lets you provide other details that you may have to select from this thing. So like, what does T2 micro map to your world? You can provide those details. And then you say confirm migration, and then it starts the process of migration. Well, let's go to the next one. Let's go to add external cloud provider. Let's add a AWS a vSphere as the provider. Right. Again, go to another one. You can go there and add, you know, VMware as the provider. You provide the details. able to connect to the VMware environment. And then you can see the data stores and folders in VMware and kind of migrate them one by one. Um, so, let's, so that gives you an idea of the fact that you, we make it very simple to select an external cloud, whether it's an internal virtualized environment or AWS, and migrate from there. Right? Um, so that's kind of the demo that you know, things are still in work. And uh, these are a sneak preview of what's coming in 2.0. Uh, so what we have, you can actually try ZeroStack out for free. Uh, give it a try, zerostack.com, try my cloud for 30 days. We will create a business unit for you. You have full access to it, you know, run your workloads. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, we come down to boot D3, and if you, you know, look for a, if you take a, get a demo with us, we're happy to give you some you know, exciting prizes as well. All right. Thank you. Any questions, anybody? No? Okay.